Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, Lyle. Yeah! Here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Uh, no idea. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Okay. I guess it's about not time that I actually met her. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. It's always business. So what does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Nice. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course. Your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us. And there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet live. Okay, no bonus, but I didn't get yelled at. I think I just got a pay cut if I did it wrong. Got a minute? Wanted to say something. Uh, Rune? Yes? I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. How'd you get your name? My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. Do you know what they mean? No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Maybe you aren't meant to know. Perhaps. They could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in Idle Bordeaux. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Who gave you the name? Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. Well, I'll keep an eye out for anything. I appreciate that. Interesting. See, Random side quest. Wanted to say something. To you. God, everyone does. I think you're all right. In fact, I'm kind of impressed how well you're doing around here. Just keep it between us, okay? How'd you get so good at picking knocks? Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. Okay. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. With skills like yours, why not? I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living, either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. A great deal of gold doing it too. Jailbreaking? What's that? It's where a client pays you to get arrested, and you get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to. well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape. That's where my strengths came in handy. So why did you stop doing it? Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves' Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. I think I see what you're getting at. And the last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. So why did you join the Thieves' Guild, not the Dark Brotherhood? I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. Cool. I'm sure we'll speak again. These people are cool. Hey. Let's talk a second. Okay. You're making waves around here. I like that. If you ever want to talk about anything, you let me know. Cool. Come I really want to learn more about lockpicking. I'm not too interested in pickpocketing right now. Because we won't really have to pickpocket that often. Even though I've done it twice in the last two quests. 
Um, it's just, I don't really care as much about it. I waste more lock picks than anything. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Yeah, Delvin, you're right. Give me a second. Need a few spare septums? I got the key. All right. But if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. Lock picking! Um, I have... 53 skill in it? Really? Well, let me go ahead and buy two. And that's getting close to dinging me. Hey, where do you think you're going? We have work to do. Eh. Vince. If you're looking for extra, some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, I'm gonna sell this. I don't want that. I could also probably sell this random bow. Actually, it's a pretty cool enchant. Uh, I'm gonna just keep that for fun. Now I'll just sell it to her. I can buy it back later, I guess. Um. What apparel do I have that I don't need? Elven Gauntlet, okay. Sell this, sell this. 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 And I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. And this random wedding band I've had forever. I don't even know where I got it from. What kind of scrolls can I vendor off on her really quick? One of these. There we go. I might have a use for these two. Cool. I think we're good. All right then. Okay, that's a little bit of buying and selling and doing things like that. I kind of want to talk to Delvin really quick. Your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So. If you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Curse? What can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around out here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Nice. I need some things for the sanctuary. I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And, uh, good luck with your murders. Just wanted to make sure that quest was done. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to take a pause for now. That was a lot of... Oops, what the heck? A full score of glass arrows coming in. Under the docks in the usual place. Oh, full score of glass arrows under the docks. Wow. I saw you you saw you do so, you know. What? I just went to read it. Master of snaking. <laughs> That's funny. So you're bringing your That was weird. Whoopsie doodles! I didn't have enough content for an entire episode. So here we are again. Okay, um Am I gonna have problems with the frame rate? Whatever, let's just go. Let's just go. It'll work itself out. If it doesn't work itself out, then I'll punch it and I'll re-record this or something. What were we doing? We gotta speak to Maven, right. Uh, she's in Riften somewhere. I, have work I don't want to do work right now. Nah! Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Goobble, gobble, goobble, gobble. Do I... Okay, yeah, I'm following that. What in the world? Why is it making me go this way? 
to get to Maven. If I've got to go back up into Riften. Did we already unlock the thing? I don't remember unlocking the thing. Mmm. This is the trouble with uh, playing the same guild over again and recording it for a second time. I mean, not recording it for a second time. I mean, well, kind of recording it for a second time considering Fraps keeps killing my game. Well, playing it and then recording it is I don't really remember what I have and haven't done because my memory's not that good. Yeah. So we're just going to wing it. But I guess we do have the secret entrance unlocked, because I just went through it. I met Martin Septim, you know, before the whole dragon marah melty thing. A nice lad, not someone you want to trust with your ring. <laughs> Activate the pull chain. Yeah, I guess we do have the secret entrance unlocked, if we can do that. Push button. Push button? No, we can't push button. Uh. Thieves Guild discovered. Now we can warp directly to the Thieves Guild, actually. Um, in order to get back down to the crypt, we have to push that button. Anyway, we gotta go talk to Maven, and it's really easy to get back in the graveyard, actually. It's really cool. I like that. You can do that with ease. La 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 la. What other quests do I have tracked that's, like, throwing me off here? Uh, no, I don't want to talk to companion leaders for work. I don't care about that anymore. Ain't no doubt about it. Thieves Guild is back. Yeah, Thieves Guild back. Thieves Guild's badass. We're gonna be awesome, and we're gonna make things havoc like because the Thieves Guild is back. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I remember this tavern. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. Oh no, you think? This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Wow, really? Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kai. Hi. No, so no, you're the one. We talked about it. Hmm. Talon? You don't look so impressive. <laughs> I'm sorry you're disappointed. Sort of an understanding? This is exactly what I'm talking saw. about. Once again, no, Brynjolf sends me someone with no backbone, no determination. Oh, so we're playing it like that. I guess you have no faith in the guild then. Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I see. Well, you won't have that problem with me. I hope not. This is an important... Lay it on me, sister. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidary that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I want to know a little bit more about her. How did you become allied with the Thieves' Guild? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. So who runs the show at the Haunting Brew Meadery? Some layabout named Sabjorn. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Fabjorn seems... Fabjorn. He's fabulous! Sabjorn seems more like just more than just friendly competition. Not a <sighs> day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabjorn get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. So get rid of him and he's no longer a threat. Exactly. With Savion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. Why strike now? The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. All right. Your name carries weight in Riften. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. 
Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. One more time in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job and you will be sorry. Whew. Let's get this done right then. All right, guys. I'll see you back when we get to Whiterun. Be careful. What did I just knock over? Oh, a... <laughs> get over yourself, Talon J. Well, this is a familiar looking inn. We've done some business here before, I think. Stuff about killing an emperor, maybe. <laughs> that was quite a time. All right. What the? Raw beef. Okay. I look like human for a second. Can't a man drink in peace? No, I got business with you. Maven said you'd be expecting me. I'm going to keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. Oh, you have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabyarn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? Hmm, how do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Clever. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do I ask questions? I think the only question I want to ask is why do you want me to bother poisoning the de the nest for the guy if we're just gonna get him there? Once Sabjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. All right. One way or another, we don't want the pests coming back. Yeah, that makes sense. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. Oh, you put the rats in there. Funny. Okay, I know why they're doing it. I know he's probably going to tell me how to get to the brewing vats. But let me double check. Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. Gotcha. What about going in through the brewery? Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. Hmm. Maybe we can talk him into it. Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. Yes, sir. I'd be dead if not for Vignar. All right. So, I guess we have to go by the meadery and employ ourselves <laughs> to poison everything. Oh, this is underhanded and wonderful. Just like the Thieves Guild. A uh, quick fast travel later, and here we are at the Haunting Brew Meadery. Hi, Shadowmere. Let's go ahead and go inside. See if we can convince this guy to give us a job, because we're just... Oh, we just look so innocent. Look at us looking all innocent. Oh, he'll want to hire us on the spot. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Is something wrong? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, you poor dear. I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's the only way... Mm, let's try to see if we can persuade him. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Ah, uh, fine. You'd better write, you skeever! Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. <laughs> you get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. Oof. 
I think being a member of the Dark Brotherhood actually increases your Intimidate rating, because I seem to be very good at those checks. Uh, how do I permanently clear out the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Alright, you got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Alright, we have 500 gold. Awesome enough. You mentioned someone named Malice? Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago. I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Mmm, so you're a scumbag, I see. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Oh wow, there actually is a skeever. Oh, well, he's got a ring. <sighs> Yoink! I'll take that too. Mix in some poisons later if I really need to. Can I? Discussed unclear. I did it. I was just doing something. Just chill. I'm reading some stuff too. Let me look at these. Okay, I'm good. Something we discussed. Shut up. I'm doing it. Jesus. All right. Uh, what do we see in here? We got a bunch of mead. We really can't steal any of this if Maven's going to be inheriting this place soon. All of this is technically going to be hers, so let's just do our job. Click, click. Of course, we're not going to use the rat poison on the rats. Uh, we're just going to use it on the nest, which should make things kind of easy. These are all Venom Fang skeevers. Oh, I see you. Sup? Oh, right in the butt. Oh, jeez. That sounded like some traps went off. I best be careful if there's traps in here. Because they can catch me too. And, ah, candy feet. Not good in traps. That hurts. Let me go ahead and just uh, creep down in here. Oh, gosh. This looks nasty. All right. We got to poison the nest and poison the haunting brew vat. And then we're good. But I see spider webs. I think there's going to be spiders down in here. Whoop, 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 Just be quiet and careful. I can take out these things one at a time if I'm just really easy about how I do it. We've got enough stealth to just remain hidden, so... Ho ho ho! Like I said, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Are you still alive? Wow, I <laughs> killed him so fast he didn't have a chance to jump. There, there you go, little body. There you go, little body! Ah, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. I'm sure you were down here just having a party. Um. Hmm. Oh, all this is technically stealing if we steal it. Oh, I'll be nice. I won't take any of Maven's stuff. Even if it's down here in the nasty. Alright, that spider looks very alive. And it was very alive. Oh. Oop. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I saw the level up a long time ago. I just forgot about it. Okay, let's see. Um, Stamina. And... What kind of perks we got here going? We need to max out Sneak before we can spend another point and hit. 76. Mmm. Can I. Is there 75 anywhere? 70? Bullseye. Power shot. Need 90 for that one, so no. I'm not gonna do the. Okay. Zooming in with a bow slows time by 25%. I. I don't care. I, I really don't. I think I've already explained that I. That does not interest me at all. Um. There's pickpocket, there's speech, alchemy, ooh, alchemy. Hmm. 
That'd be good to have later, but I won't do that. There's illusion we are not playing with right now. Oh, I need to start probably working on my one-handed skill. One-handed weapons do 20% more damage. Yeah, probably a good idea. Hmm. So we want to, we kind of want to work on our dagger skill a little bit, but ah, that's kind of a last resort in case there's nothing else. Do I want to do lock picking or do I want to do pickpocketing? I guess. Wizards in their pockets. Carrying capacity. Almost always works. <sighs> hmm. Thinking, 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 thinking. Persuasion attempts, intimidation. <sighs> All those are really good too. Speech pickpocketing and lockpicking are the three weird ones that I never really, I'm not really sure how to spend my points in, points in those. I mean, hmm. Potions you mix, eh, no, I'm not doing that one either. I think we might end up going up the illusion tree just so we can get things. Because we need to get quiet casting and other things too. But no, I already said I wasn't going to do any magic on this play, on this file at all. I was going to swear off magic completely. And this is starting to get really boring, so let me make a decision. Um, let's go ahead and do one-handed weapons. Yeah, one point in that wouldn't hurt. And I'll think about, I'll think about what I do next. Um, but it's probably gonna be lock picking. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably end up doing lock picking first. It'll depend on what I've got the highest skill in, actually. Down in the caves, down in the caves. Oh man. Oh, there's tripwires down here too. Hmm, what's this tripwire do? Woo! That was hidden up in the ceiling. I barely saw it. Okay. Let's be nice and slow, nice and careful. This is a creepy little cave. I'm having trouble believing that Vermin did this. Okay. Oh shit. Wow, he ran straight up to me. That was a critical strike. Oh god, what the fuck? Who the... Jesus is that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hold up. Um... I have an invisibility potion. I'm gonna chug it. Whew, I need to make more of these. Can't hide from me. What in the world? No, get away! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. You can't hide from me. Yes, I can. Leave. Who the f... Who was that? What in the world? Random guy? Okay. We're out of stealth. Out of illusion. He looks weird. Okay, we need to do something about him. Let me go ahead and. No. Poison a shot. On him. Yeah. First of all, for him, I'm gonna go ahead and equip an exploding dwarven bolt of fire. Yep. <laughs> and then... I've still got Uthrad in my inventory. <laughs> Why? 
Do I still have Uthrad in my inventory? I need to go drop that off. I'll do that uh, when we're heading back. All this random shit. Ugh. Ah. All right. I got all these poisons for a reason. Uh, weak poison, lingering poison. Those are useless. I'll just, I'll have to use them up like willy nilly. All right. Let's just put on a weak poison. Weak exploding dwarven bolt of fire. This should do a hefty chunk of damage. Let's see. Oh god, I missed so hard. Uh, oh no. Alright, let's try again. Mm. I was knocking that slow time thing, but maybe I should invest in that. Jeez. We're not going to use any of these. I remembered how I made these, by the way. Um, in the, uh... <laughs> in the, uh, Assassin's Guild. The Dark Brotherhood. Um, we, uh... You, you come across this rare herb that basically is overpowered as hell. And you are supposed to use it to put in the Emperor's soup. I'm sorry, spoiler. Um, if you haven't watched the Dark Brotherhood playthrough, sorry. But, um, I'm supposed to put it in his stew, and it, uh, has a very interesting sort of BOOM, BITCH! Oh, God. He already healed himself a lot. Okay. Now we're healing for you. Whoa, what the? Oh, no way. Oh, you saw that, right? There was no way you didn't see that. That was... That was Ninja. He just ninja on me. What in the world? This guy is on steroids. Must be my imagination. <laughs> Couldn't dodge that one. I'm knocking that book all over the place. Okay, that little skeever is not worth a dwarven... <laughs> Bolt of fire. Let me downgrade my uh, shot quality here to our steel bolts. Hey, little guy. Don't fret. Don't fret. You're dead. Nice. Do we have any more bad things in here? Okay, I don't think we do. Recover our stuff. Three thieves sneak. Can I get a nice little point out of this really quick? Three thieves. A 97 sneak. Oh, we're getting close. Three more skill books and I'll be set. Alright. Let's see. This guy's name, Hamelin. Hamelin's journal. Let's read. Ten years of ridicule, ten years of imprisonment, ten years of exile. The children throw rocks and the women spat upon me as the men folk drag me into Whiterun's prison. They brand me to a as a danger to their pitiful existence. Use words like madman and insane. Could a madman escape the prisons undetected? Uh, establish a laboratory right under their noses? <sighs> what the heck? Ten years of pain. Oh. This is a guy. Apparently like a crazy mage or something. Here. Let's grab this and this and this and this. Uh, necklace of minor lockpicking. Oh, well, that's quite helpful. I might just take that. Keep those around. I might make a lockpicking set. That'd be kind of cool. Honestly, I think I might put points in enchanting. I'm <laughs> getting a lot of use out of enchanting. And since we've got an alchemy lab, let's see if we can make some quick potions or poisons because I can make poisons okay 15 points of poison damage craft 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 and craft 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 and craft cool um restore health yeah we need to do this 
What in the world? Restored. Oh, that's not good. I'm not going to do that. that. Doesn't make a good one at all. Restore stamina. That might be useful. Weakness to fire. You know, we could actually make one of those and follow it up with our fire arrows, and that would be really good. Let's, let's all go ahead and do that one. That's pretty, pretty cool. Resist poison, resist shock. Uh, damage magicka. Hmm. We're not gonna do that combo. Drains the target's magic by 22 points. Let's do that. And another one of these. And one of these. Yeah, we can do one of these. Oh, it turns it into a fear spell. That's awesome. And a few of these just for fun. I'm probably going to end up selling a lot of these potions, poisons, things, because I don't really need them. At this point, I'm having fun sort of just making what I can make. Yeah, there we go. Cool. A lot of good potion, poison. <laughs> I keep saying, I keep meaning to say one thing and then switch to the other thing, and I'm like, bleh. All right, I think we're good. We good? We're good. All right, cool. I think I got turned around. No, no, no. Here we go. Yeah. This is it. Okay. One last thing to do. One order of business, and we can vacate the premises. How do we get up there? Oh. Hmm. What sweet roll? Hmm. I will leave it there. I might be Maven sweet roll. <laughs> key to open. Oh, the key! How convenient. It was right there. That was weird, though. Man. Random guy down in there. I made that a little bit more interesting than I was bargaining for. Who's this guy? Emar? I don't need you. Yeah! Right. I can't wait to see Sabjorn squirm. <laughs> Was something we discussed unclear? I finished the job. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. I was busy. What about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. I'll wait around to see this. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight? What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. <laughs> Someone's in trouble. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. He's got an orcish sword. He's gonna get you like a conch game hen. <laughs> oh, it's good to be bad. What's your bad? 
subdued. I don't think that could have gone any better. Mm-hmm. Anything else you need before you head back to Rifton? I need to go look at Savjorn's books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Savjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Savjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Sweet. You never mentioned uh, you never mentioned that lunatic living in the tunnels. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Well, that's stupid. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. So what are you going to do with this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Oh, he's a fence! Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Aw, oh, sweet! We got a fence here. That's awesome. All right, so now we need to head upstairs. I can't believe that worked. And get a good look at his books, and I think we'll be on our way. Just got to figure out how to get upstairs. What in the world? That can't be that complicated. I know it's in this building. Um, is there a ladder here? No. Oh, this is going to be one of those things where I get yelled at in the comments. Rick, you stupid moron! How'd you not see those stairs? <laughs> I'm serious, I can't... I don't... It's got to be a ladder. It's got to be a ladder or something, because it doesn't seem like there's any way out here to get up there. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't believe that worked. Yep, yep, I can't have Ebit either. What? No way. How do you... What in the... Here, let me go outside. What's the hurry? Oh, I'm going crazy. I can't believe that worked. Um. Okay, let me look over in this corner. I'm putting. I'm keeping all of this in just to show people how stupid I can be. Some. Oh my God. Oh, I thought that was another way out for some reason. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh. Oh, oh God. All right. Okay, we've identified his... I don't have a jack. We've identified his silent partner. The game at Inner Alchemy. I'm gonna read that. I like books. A game at dinner. A game at dinner. Sweet. 50 alchemy. Rawr! Cool. Cats of Skyrim. Look at all the books. Look at all these books. All right. Well, that went awesomely. So next time we're going to report back to Maven and we're going to tell her how awesome we are and hopefully get ourselves back on track <laughs> with these uploads and make them happen a lot more often. The Ethereum Wars quest that has been heavily requested, I will probably end up doing at some point in the future. Do not heckle me about it. It will come later when I feel like doing it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, good. It'll be a surprise. But I will do that at some point. Anyway, thanks all for watching. See you later.